So this is like an ostensibly happy occasion, but little does Daniel know what inner turmoil is affecting uh, Sinead yeah, at this definitely. time. Uh, what would be his reaction should he find out what's really going on? Um, well, when they got back together, because they had a rough start, when they got back together, they made a pact with each other. We filmed a scene where they said, it's just me and you now, so no more secrets. Anything that happens, there has to be almost like a, a watertight environment around us that we share everything with each other. Mm. And then outside of that, we decide who gets to know. So this is a clear violation of that agreement. So he's going to feel extremely betrayed by by it. But also understanding at the same time because someone who's given a diagnosis like that, you can't expect them to think in the way you want them to. Mm. People react how they react and I'd hope that he would be, I don't think he will be because he's never demonstrated it before, but you'd hope that someone would be mature enough to be able to go, this is about you, not me. Can you understand why she's kept it from him? In yeah, because I think in a, in a way, I mean, obviously all of this is thinking very subjectively about my character. Mm -hmm. I couldn't speak for, I couldn't speak for Katie, but I think that um, Sinead probably realises by now that she is a, a keeper of Daniel's mental well-being. Um, I don't know what a psychologist would have to say about how healthy that is, mm -hmm. but it's true regardless, because every time during the show, every time something's happened to her, you see a very violent reaction from Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, so I imagine that would be something yeah. you would see. So, I mean, in the last year or so, perhaps like Sinead has offered him this like newfound stability, or has given him this yeah, stability. Yeah, definitely. But if that kind of went out the window, then could Daniel revert to type, do you think? Yeah. And regress? Well, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, because I think one of, the, one of the really good things about the relationship, I mean, working with Katie is always fun, mm. always fun. But one of the brilliant things about that dynamic and that relationship is that <clears throat> When Daniel came in, he was guarded, um, judgmental, and quite rude. Mm. And over the course of their relationship, he's been allowed to show a much softer, more intimate, and playful side, um, which has been a lot of fun to do, because obviously it's, it can get a bit samey if you're just constantly moody. So yeah. it's nice to be able to do things in a lighter way. Um, and I think she knows and he knows that that's in jeopardy should something happen to her. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Katie was saying that she really hopes the writers keep the two of you together. Yeah. Do you hope this is for the same thing? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've <clears throat> um, not only for the fact that we both enjoy working with each other and we both get on very well on and off, it's, it's for the fact that I mean, it's almost like when you start building a building, you get half, you got to the 14th floor or something, and then they go, no, actually, we, we decided yeah. we don't want to do that one anymore. That you think, I just spent two years building this, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. So yeah, from, from that uh, aspect of continuity, which is, not, which is quite rare in soap, they don't tend to leave people together, they don't mm. tend to leave people alone, they tend to try and throw <clears throat> as many third, fourth and fifth parties. Some people come back for round two as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, they, they try and break people up so it's nice to have that continuity within a show that's forever changing. Mm. And uh, what does, should Daniel find out what is going on and the choice that Sinead potentially has to make, where will his loyalties be to her or to their unborn child do you think? See I think one of the, one of the in, most interesting things to come up out of the research around sort of dealing with a cancer diagnosis is hearing from hearing people say how surprised they were to be quite disturbed by how many selfish thoughts you have. So you go, uh, someone comes up to you and goes, this diagnosis has happened to me and I'm telling you about it. And obviously many things are going on at once. People are complicated and they can be incredibly concerned with their well, with someone else's well-being. Whereas at the same time, it could be, and a lot of people have said this, it's driven that if you die, what will I do? Mm -hmm. And that's, it could, it's quite selfish to admit that. And I'm not suggesting that is what people do. I'm saying that it's a, a line of thought that a lot of people admit to having. Um, and it's interesting to play. It's interesting to play it that way, to think as much as you do care for someone, there is a lot of self-preservation in it. Because Daniel, perhaps you don't agree, but he is quite selfish in a way, isn't he? Because 
in a way, I think he doesn't really see anybody on the street as being his equal, apart from no. maybe his dad. No. Yeah, apart so from the dad. I mean, yeah. he already toppled him right down the stairs. <laughs> Yeah. That was bad joke. That so he's got the better taste. of him already. Right? He's already got the better of him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and with a book as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, Daniel's definitely a bit. Well, he's had, to be, he's had no reason not to be. Mm. So everyone left him. His dad left him when he was a baby. Um, and then his mum left him when he was 14. Mm. He's now early 20s. He had no reason to not be selfish because he had to look after himself. Mm. Um, and then when Sinead came into his life, it became, what can I, what can I steal for us? I, I, it, whatever I need, I'll get it, but it's now for the two of us, and then mm. it comes to the three of us. You it, 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 it wouldn't associate, obviously, at all caveman with Daniel, but that element is there. It's like, yeah. I'll take what I need to look after me and mine. And since that brood is growing, the need is also growing, so I imagine, yeah, you'll see a lot more selfish behaviour, but yeah, you are absolutely right, he's, he's capable with, with Sinead of being completely giving, because mm. she does that to him, I think a lot of people, relationships are like that, but outside of that, he's, he's very much concerned about himself, yeah. Mm. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes in the future. Me so. too, yeah. me too.